Gemini. It's Lynn from Tinker Tarot. Sorry it took so long. My apologies for um, taking so long to put your video out after Sagittarius. Um, but I have had a lot of readings, which I really appreciate. Um, so this is why I'm late. Sorry. So, <clears throat> Gemini. Ugh. I'm, like, there's so much going on in my mind um, that I want to tell you. Um, first of all, I want to say thank you so much for all the likes. I think there's 219 likes from Gemini, and that's why you came in second. And um, I, I appreciate it so much and all your support. See that? Card came out. So I'm going to stop it right there because I'm going to cut, but I'm going to read you this card. So you got the Four of Cups. So the Four of Cups is um, about your friends or family is whispering in your ear, you know. And they're creating doubt. They're making you question the status quo. So it seems like something's, everything seems okay, but um, they're saying, geez, you know, don't you think that's kind of weird that, that's going on or that they did this or that you got that or and so they're they're asking you to question something that seems okay you know it seems like it's everything's going off fine because those four cups are standing up and everything's going smooth um but they're saying that there's odd things about this and so they're making you question it and think hmm maybe they're right maybe i should take another look or maybe I should ask more questions um, and this may cause turbulence but it's turbulence that needed to be caused this needs to be questioned you know so I'm gonna leave that out actually I'm gonna, gonna cut your cards right from there Gemini oh I haven't held them held them yet. <laughs> I barely got to shuffle them they're so anxious they've been waiting for me uh, to, to read to you. So, what are the messages for Gemini? January 2019. I am so excited for this new year coming. And I'm already feeling uh, so much more positive and motivated. My energy is a lot better. And um, I, I want to say thank you to uh, those of you out there who stuck with me while I was going through that hard time. I really appreciate it. I needed that bit of time to, hmm, I don't know what you'd call it. I can't put a name to it, but I just needed it. And I, I want to thank you for that. So let's get on with your reading here, Gemini. Your first card is the Eight of Cups. Now, this um, card describes you working very hard. You working very hard. You're trying to build something here. You may be building savings. Um, you may be working very hard and saving up money um, for your future, for your, what you want to manifest in your life. Maybe you want to build a house and maybe buy a car, ask someone to marry you. I don't know what that is. But you're, you're working very hard. Um, and it looks like you're working on your own. This could be um, your own business, an entrepreneur um, business, because he's working on his own. Um, it also suggests a workshop to me. You know, he's, <clears throat> he's in between those columns, which are supporting that table. The table is built in. There's no legs on that table. And so to me, it kind of suggests a workshop. Um, doesn't have to be, you know, this is a general reading. I need my glasses. Um, but you can see he's working diligently. He's focused on this now. You know, where at another time you might have been very focused on, you know, love or whatever, now your focus is really on this. You want to get your finances in order. You want to start um, 
building so that you can manifest what you want in your life, what's through your door. I, I want to see right through my window. I can see the full moon. I know it's not all the way full tonight, but it's almost there. Like, it's pretty close, and I can see it right right there. It's in my vision. Um, anyway, so that's your first card. I just want to say something about that full moon. And um, what I was taught, my teaching is, is the moon is our grandmother looking over us at night. And, um, um, sh and the sun is our grandfather. And uh, so whenever I look up to the moon, I think of Grandmother Moon. And, um, and, and it's sometimes we pray to the moon, you know, to, and to the full moon especially to give us what we need. It's, uh, it's, it's the one thing that, uh, that is in the same timing as, as women, you know, women run in the phases of the moon. We have monthly cycles and so does the moon. Anyway, the next card in your past is the Ten of Cups. Now, the Ten of Cups is the fulfillment of a relationship. This couple have been through all the tests that relationships need to go through. You know, the, the test, the trust test. <laughs> um, and... Um, you know, they've gone, they've both gone through quite a bit to get to this place where they accept each other in honest love. They know each other, um, for their positives and their negatives and they accept them. Um, also this is sometimes about two opposite people. You know, uh, like the bird and the fish story. You know, you think, how can I go out with him or her? They're so different than me. But, you know, nature has a way of bringing the right person to you. Um, you know, I think this is what you're building toward. This is what you're focusing on and you're building toward because you want this. You know, you may want to offer um, someone this in the future. So right now you're focusing and you're working very hard and investing your, you're really investing your energy into um, manifesting this beautiful relationship. Usually that Ten of Cups is about a relationship of love, but it also can be about um, uh, uh, family and friends too. You know, I think of myself and building a relationship with my son or daughter um, and and uh, investing my time into that because that's really what your kids want is your time most of all. Um, and uh, anyway, so, you know, it could be um, another type of relationship. Traditionally, it's a love relationship, okay? The next card you have is the Ace of Swords. So this is, you know, the Aces are gifts. The Aces are new beginnings. And this new beginning is based on a communication, this Ace. Someone has something to tell and, and quite, quite something to tell. They can barely hold on to this sword. It's so gigantic. It's, it's bigger than she is. And she's really got to get her feet firmly planted to to hold on to try and wield this sword so um it's you know what it makes me think of is you can't handle the truth you know this is a truth that um she can't handle so she wants to pass this on she wants to get it off her uh off her load right so this is a truth coming in, a message coming in, um, information coming in. And I think it's regarding your um, what you're working toward here in relationship, you know. And we'll see where that's going. The first card in your present is the Justice card. 
Um, the justice card could represent um, a court situation or a legal matter. Um, also, it's about um, righting wrongs. Righting wrongs. She has the um, the owl on her shoulder, and the owl is very wise and considers things um, quite a bit before coming um, before uh, imparting their their um, judgment, their opinion, um, their advice, and that's what this is about: truth and justice, righting wrongs. Um, and there's also a sense of balance here, you know, to bring balance back, okay? So, your next card is the Seven of Pentacles. And the Seven of Pentacles is about being generous. Uh, you may ask to be generous or you may need someone, someone's generosity, um, and see, you know, she's coming to this guy and all she has is her cow and a coin and it's a not enough to sustain her and she's asking for help and he's kind of trying to judge whether she's a good risk or not, you know, and, um, so you may be asked to be generous even when you're not guaranteed a return, all right? There's no guarantee there. It is a risk, you know, to invest. And like I said, you know, it reminds me of the bird and the fish story. Funny I said that. Because that's the thing, is that when you have that, when you have someone that you want to be with or you want to invest in that is so different than you, there's there could be some warning signs like, Mm, I don't know, you know, they they work all night and I work all day. When are we going to see each other? They, you know, you, you, reasons why it may not work, but there's lots of reasons why it would. And so someone is trying to decide whether they want to invest. I'm holding them like this because this card comes under this one. And it, 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 it requires some risk. Sometimes it's worth it. Sometimes we need to take risks, you know, or we need to at least try, you know, um, give it a shot. Why not? And there's nothing here that is implying any real dangers. Um, but I think there could be a truth you learned. Maybe they, maybe they had um, court issues or maybe they... You know, I see the justice under the, the Eight of Pentacles. Maybe there was a financial made matter. Maybe they had fines or owe alimony to their ex or support payments. And it sits uneasy with you, you know. Um, it could be something like that. I'm just saying that this is why you're sort of reconsidering the risk. Because um, you want an equal give and take, right? You want fairness going on there. You want balance. Mm. Mm. Wow. I love this card. The star. And I love this card in the Mythic Tarot. I'm using the Mythic Tarot, as you probably know. But this card is the, the, the card of hope. Um, you may not have a lot of signs right now that are guaranteeing anything. You know, exactly right here in this risk, right? I want to bring these two cards up because this is all making sense to me. So here is, remember I said writing wrongs, okay? And so maybe, you know, this person who you're interested was actually wrong. I'm, I'm getting a feeling someone might have done some time in jail for a crime. And and we can't be judged forever on our past, uh, especially in our youth when we make stupid mistakes or whatever. You know, you don't know what the situation is and we weren't there when it happened. So I, I get that. I'm getting a strong feeling someone did jail time. And whether it's you, Gemini, or someone else. And... 
you know, like I said, we can't be judged on that forever. It can't be held us against us forever. And so you may need to be fair. You may need to want to help right or wrong. You may need to want to take on a risk on someone and invest in them, even though it, um, you're, it, there's a risk. There's a, you know, there's a risk and you know, what? in every relationship there is. There's a risk in every relationship. You could go into a solid gold relationship. Everything has all the check marks and all the gold stars, and then something goes wrong, you know? Or you could go in and, and, and see some, someone that people warned you about and be together for the rest of your lives. So, you know, you just don't know. You know, you just don't know. But this is about having hope. I believe in this person. I believe how I feel, what what I'm feeling. And this feels right. Like, I think it feels right to you. Um, and I think you're willing to take the risk. You're willing to take a chance on someone. And it might be completely worth it. I also want to mention in the, in the card of the star, this... She goes, it's about being vulnerable, right? Because when we believe in somebody, you are being vulnerable. It's like I said, it's a risk. And so she's presenting herself naked in front of Pandora's box. And she's she's going to open it. She's going to take the chance. And I'm just, I'm going to see w what it is. And she opens it, and all these butterflies, the hugest star you've ever seen, and it's and it's like a wish star. You make, make a wish upon a star. And, and all these butterflies. So this transforms you. Whether it turns out the best scenario or not, it still transforms you because you surrendered something in yourself, you know? And you just believed, you trusted that... I'm going to trust this. I'm just going to surrender and let the universe um, um, let this unfold. Um, there was something else I was thinking of when I was looking at this, looking at you, looking at this. Oof, I lost it. The star, vulnerable. Mm. Can't wish upon a star. I don't know. I can't remember now. But anyway, it'll come to me. I think also, too, um, the star comes under this Ace of Swords, right? This big truth that needs to be revealed. This person doesn't want to hold on to this information anymore. They, they want to unload it. And um, I think it's what gives you hope. You know, sometimes people see this Ace of Swords as a bad thing, like, oh, geez, what am I going to find out? Because we're taught to think negatively right away. But I think it's something that gives you hope, you know. you It, 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 it helps you believe in, in the unknown, okay? Uh, the first card in your present is the Page of Pentacles. So the pages always carry messages with them. Uh, I forget to, I always think of it in this page, but I forget to mention it in other, when I'm talking about other pages. But the page is also about youth. This, I said, you know, I said earlier about the relationship between mother and son or, or father and daughter, mo parent and child, whatever. Because this is a youth and, and, um, that youthful energy and spirit and um, uh, it, it's really the energy. Because see how all the growth in the fields here, it's all young growth, new growth. So this, this guy, he's got a message um, of financial opportunity. 
business opportunity, a business opportunity, um, a potential for growth here. And and the youngness is us in in the opportunity. You know, we're young, we're we're um, vulnerable again because um, this is new for us, a new opportunity that we're going to take up. So it's young, youthful energy. Shush. The next card is the Emperor. You know, ah, oh, I love when that happens. Again, I spoke of parent and child. The Emperor um, represents the father figure, the boss in our lives. And, and you know, th there's a relationship going on here. And it's older and younger. Um... I, I I know it showed the Ten of Cups, but I get a feeling there's a family relationship going on here. Because this King of Pentacles, uh, King of Pentacles, the Emperor, um, came out right after this page. And this page, I said, like, is sometimes can represent a youth with their new idea. They're making their fresh start. You know when they move out of the house finally and they, they get their own apartment and they're all proud of themselves and they have all this used furniture? At least we did um, when I was a youth. And my mom would come and visit and do my dishes for me. <laughs> but um, this father figure... Um, has two meanings. You know, the emperor can be there for help. He has all the experience in the world. He's very knowledged. He's very worldly. He ha He's on the top of the hill here. He can see far. He can see, not into the future necessarily, but he can see more than a youth can. He's got that maturity to know how something will ripple out. You know, if you do that, well, you know this and this and this will happen. And so they have very sound advice. But the other side of the emperor is um, a tyrant and who thinks that his word is the word and his way is the way. And this person might want to start their way and make their own mistakes and stop telling me how to do everything. I'm going to do it my way. And this guy's saying, well, you're going to, you know, that's not going to go good. And and so this person really needs the support, the parental support to believe in them, whether you know it's going to fail or not. They need you to believe in them. There's that saying again, believe. Believing in, oops, believing in someone. Also, um, the investment may come from a fatherly figure in your life. Um, some, um, or someone who, someone who has raised you, parented you, because they might take a risk with you. They might invest. They might, they might. Uh, be supporting you and say, you know, I want to help that little tyke out. I want to help him with his new little business because I think he's got a chance, you know. And um, and that's why we're there kind of for our kids and our grandkids is, is to be the role model, but um, support them in their successes and their failures, okay? The last card is the Seven of Swords. Oh, my lighting. I'm always having problems with my lighting. There you go. Um, the Seven of Swords is the Thief card. This person is sneaking off into the night with the goods. They got all the swords with them. Um, they're in the shadow. They went out the back door, you know, where... And um, I noticed that in this pile of stuff... There is a broken column. So it's like um, the the support is lost. Like someone is not supporting your cause. Someone might be very secretive and sneaky about it. And like I said, sneak out the back door with the goods, the information, the... Um, hmm. With 
the oh I shouldn't do that it makes the dog bark when I tap like that um hmm I don't think it's the page or the emperor that's sneaking out the door I just don't I think that it's an, yet another person. I think it's this bearded man, this man that has been working really hard, you know, this person, I should say, that's been working really hard. Because if you look at the cards diagonally, you know, um, down here, you got this guy you know, working hard, try, trying to uh, save up his money for his investment. And then he's here, he's got all his money. He's like, um, look at all my money um, and look at my place. I've got my nice place and everything now. And now someone's saying, well, geez, will you help me out? Um, and it's, um, you know, I think that... There's someone else. Um, I think there's someone being generous, and then I think there's someone not. I think there's two situations going on here. It's hard to tell who this person is, but one person wants to help, and one person wants to hinder. I get the feeling it's like a, like a brother or a sister or um, an uh, an older family member, um, something like that. You know, and this card dropped out, right? This card dropped out at the beginning. Someone's whispering in your ear, creating doubt, and maybe you should be questioning the status quo. Maybe you should be saying, you know, what's going on? Because there is something suspicious going on underneath, behind something. Someone um, wants to steal something, okay? Uh, so you got to watch out for that. Besides that card, you, it's all about the support in what you're trying to build, what you're trying to achieve here. But listen to your friends. Listen to the people in your life. They're trying to tell you, like, something seems fishy here. That doesn't seem, like, why did she have to go all the way around to that part of town to go to that mall? Well, there's a, that store's in this, this just up the street here. You know, like, Women are like that. We we analyze things, you know, and um, and we analyze and we look at things. And sometimes things need to be questioned. It's like, well, why were you over there if you, you know, I keep saying that over there. Why were you over there if if the 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 company's over here? <laughs> it's like, it doesn't make sense. Anyway. Um, I'm going to uh, use the uh, regular playing cards to <clears throat> help clarify the situation. Um, I know other readers kind of start at the beginning and, and clarify to the end, but I'm all over the place. I'm telling you that Seven of Swords is bugging me and I want to know about it first. Or like it combined with this Four of Cups. I want to know what or who is being shifty here so please cards tell me about Gemini what is the seven of swords and four of cups for Gemini more <laughs> more information okay so this is definitely a communication this is like the ace of swords again I think that truth that's coming in that you heard that someone had to tell you the 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 big load that they don't want to carry. They, this is a this is um, a burden they don't want to carry. It's a big burden to carry. It's like a big secret and they don't want it. And when you hear it, uh, perhaps you're going to think, well, geez, I'm not going to believe that. I'm going to have faith that it's okay, you know, and and. Maybe 
It's trying to tell you something, trying to warn you of something here. Um, I think the best results will come out of it. There's some sort of confusion, too, because the moon is right here, right? Eh? There's some confusion. Um, there's something that doesn't make sense in it, okay? And that's why the girlfriends or the guy friends are saying, what? What? It's always good to talk stuff out with your friends and, and family members that you trust uh, because, uh, you know, I always tell friends, if you're going to come and ask me or get advice, be prepared to hear the truth of that, and you may not like it because I am not going to fluff stuff up for people. And that's a good friend. You need friends that you can go to and say, well, you know what happened the other day? And they say, what? You need friends like that. You you don't need friends that agree with everything, you know, or don't want to get involved in anything, you know, have an opinion. It's good to have people around you that have strong opinions and got your back, you know. And this is communication coming in. Um, I, get, I get the feeling it's an email. I think it's an email maybe um, or something, information. And, and it's telling you, you got to pay attention to this. You got two of them. Well, some say this is the um, pentacle, but it's communication. Both of these cards are communication. This is a message. Um, in the old days, it meant a letter, but I think it could be an email. I don't think text. Like, I hate to be so specific in these general readings, but I really get an email feeling, okay? Um, and you need to listen to your friends. So, what else do we have for Gemini? I still would like to know, like, it's basically saying, listen to what people are telling you. Don't just um, push away things, you know, consider them. Um, because that's what this person does. That's what the wise owl does. It listens to all the information provided and, and, and takes it all into consideration. And that's what this card is telling you to do. I know you want to remain impartial. But you need to take in all the uh, information be, and consider it all uh, before you make your decision. So, <clears throat> let's go on the Ace of Swords, see if we can find out a little bit about what this, this info is. What is the info for Gemini and the Ace of Swords for January 2019? What does the Ace of Swords mean for Gemini? What is that? Please tell me cards, please. I'm saying please because sometimes I can be sitting here shuffling for five minutes and I need a sign from them. I need to feel something when I know they're ready. And sometimes it's the littlest thing and but I still need to feel it. Oh, there it is. Ooh, <clears throat> a little hidden gem there. Okay, so you got the Six of Spades, the Seven of Hearts, and the Queen of Diamonds. You know, it's funny because I don't know if I said it. I think I did, but I think someone's jealous. Someone's jealous. They're working hard, and then you're being given money like someone's um, investing in you and they're they're like what it, I, I really get a strong family feeling like two brothers or brother and sister or two sisters or something and one feels that you you know the you could be the younger one um, that you're getting favored you're getting dads attention dad support here i am working my butt off and what am i getting you know so there could be some of that so the six is steps backwards you know you uh things unraveling okay and this is jealousy 
jealousy or envy, and it's coming from this person. This queen of diamonds is a green or blue-eyed woman. She has been um, scorned. She's been, she's either divorced, could be widowed. She's, she usually has a negative outlook. She could be uh, a lawyer too. Sometimes these Queen of Diamonds are, are legal people um, because they got the, the smarts, you know, they have the mind. Um... I'm getting the feeling of a facade here. This person is wearing a mask, I think. Um, they're acting one way and thinking another. Um, there's... I, I think they're trying to unravel what you're doing. I really hope this is not you, Gemini, feeling jealous of someone, feeling... Um, they're getting favored um, because it's not going to cause anybody, uh, bring any goodness to cause someone else harm. Karma is a, a, a powerful thing to mess with. And you want to keep your karma good as much as possible. Sometimes we make mistakes, but we got to own up to them to correct the karma. Righting a wrong. Okay, that was important too. So this queen could be a male, but for me in the playing cards, it strongly suggests a female that is side dealing, so, uh, is um, has ill intentions. Sometimes this woman is an older woman uh, with gray or white. She might even have that platinum hair. You know how people are dying the platinum color now. So maybe she's not older. She's just got that platinum. Um, and she could be, you know, the mom or the ex. Or maybe there's two moms. You know, maybe there's, you know, one kid is from one marriage and another kid is from another marriage. Like maybe you have stepbrother or step family. And um, there, there's something like that in the dynamics, okay? I know this message is meant for some people out there going through this. Um, and, you know, this star card is about your good karma. Your good karma. Keeping your karma right. All right? You can't control what other people do. If they steal, they'll be stolen from. You know, karma comes around. It does. And um, it hurts. Sure, it hurts, but um, they won't get away with it. I think you're on to it. You may even prevent it or see it coming you may go and talk to them and say I hope you're not planning on doing anything like this because I've heard a rumor and 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 because I think confrontation is actually good especially when you're calm and you can and you can do it calmly um you don't want to wait till you're all fired up and go in there you better <laughs> no so um I think you gotta watch out for this this queen, though, I feel like she's trying to unravel um, work or progress, your progress or progress of some sort, okay? Um, I'm going to take, I'm going to take a card on the star, okay? So, because that's a beautiful card, and it's talking about you know, faith and, and um, you know, for, for you spiritual people out there, this is what it's all about. You know, when we pray, we pray for guidance. We pray for something good, for help. Um, show me the way. Show me a sign, you know. And, and that's what that star card all is about, is faith. So what is the star card about here for Gemini, January 2019? What's the star card about? Ooh, what? 
is it? What is it? What is it? What is the star card about that? Faith and good karma and believing. That is, I think that is it right there. I'm going to take actually those. They were all together. Mm, 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 mm. I'm glad I did. I had a feeling. Okay, so we got about six cards here. Okay, so you have the Jack of Diamonds, the Nine of Spades, the Nine of Hearts, the Seven of Clubs, the Three of Diamonds, and the Seven of Spades. So to me, that Jack of Diamonds is also a messenger. I like to call him the postman. He's bringing a message. Now this message is, it seems grim. It's um, a, a, a hurdle, a, a, a barrier, okay? But it is a catalyst that's going to um, make your wish come true. This is wish granted. So this nullifies this, you know? It's, it trumps it. And it is, it is minor trouble is what it's saying. It's a minor hiccup on your way to um, your wish being fulfilled, what you're working toward, okay? So, um, and then these three here is... You know, it's funny, you got two nines and two sevens. And in the reading, you got two sevens. So you got four sevens, okay? So there, a lot of emotion up and down, a lot of emotion here. Um, and you got the exact. Oh, no, you didn't. No, you didn't. Diamond. Okay, so basically. This is worry and tears. Okay, so you're worried about um, your what you're trying to manifest coming to fruition. And, uh, there's concern, um, and and this is <laughs> the second wish card. You got both wish cards, and um, this is like it's it's kind of like the wish. It's kind of like the initial wish. Okay, the initial part of the wish. It's only the three, but you can see things starting to come together, starting to line up. You were worried they weren't going to, but they are. It's starting to line up. And this one is tears, but it's tears of joy, happiness. Um, <laughs> I think it's tears of relief, to tell you the truth. Because you were really worried, concerned about where this was going. Um, concerned, I think you're a little concerned about um, how it's affecting others or, or how, will, how it will, um, what's the word I'm looking for, uh, backlash, what the backlash will be kind of thing. Uh, it won't be on you, so you don't got to worry about that. But look at that. Two nines, two sevens. Those are important numbers for you. Um, if I were to guesstimate, I'd say seven to nine days, seven to nine weeks. Okay? And in between that seventh and that ninth day or week is when all the stuff's going to happen. All the goods are going to come out. All the info's going to come out. I, perhaps in the seven is when the information comes out. And then in the nine is when it's all um, been uh, uh, reclaimed, I want to say. It's been sorted out. It's been sorted out. Um, you're starting to 
um, uh, you're starting to wind it up again, okay? I really like that. You know what the nice thing is, is that people are trying to help you. You're, you're getting messages. People are, are trying to open your mind about, you know, what's going on around you, what people are saying, thinking, doing. Um, like, the, like I said, I get a strong family tie. Maybe it's a family business or... Um, and I also get a strong sort of step situation, step family. There's there's this mom and that one, that mom, or this dad and that dad. Um, uh, two different moms, two different dads, something like that. Or, or it could be the same father, two different moms. You know what I mean. Anyway, the one kid comes from the one and the other kid comes from the other. And there's a jealousy thing going on there. Um Um, I think I th I think this guy has the ultimate say though in it, and he's supportive, but he's got the ultimate say. No matter who tries to do what, if she tries to do this or he tries to do that, this guy has the ultimate say in it. So, um, I don't think there's. Like, it, 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 it's not allowed to become this huge thing because it's um, diffused before it can be, okay? Anyway, Gemini, I'm doing a holiday special until December 31st. It's $45. I know I said in the Sagittarius $40. I'm sorry, I made a mistake. It's $45 for 45 minutes. And I'm getting a lot of calls, actually. That's why I'm having the hard time getting the videos out. So, um, and the information is in the box below. Uh, please send your age, sign, city you live in, and a pic along with your information. I need that to give you the reading. And um, uh, the readings are available through um, phone, Skype, um, I can do video recordings. Um, phone's usually best because um, I don't. Ha I can see your picture. I don't have to see you necessarily. Um, I feel like there's something missing here. Like I'm not saying something. Um, geez. Well, I I guess it's not meant to be. <laughs> anyway, uh, take care. Merry Christmas to those who celebrate it. Happy Hanukkah. And I look forward to seeing you in the new year. Take care. Bye-bye.